Welcome to Smart Document Control. This is a pre-configured solution powered by DocuWare. Now, I'm Larry Stover, your host. I'm a business owner for almost 30 years, and I use DocuWare in my business to run my daily operations. We also are an authorized DocuWare partner, so we can resell their software. And this is one I'm presenting today will be the Smart Document Control for you. We also use DocuWare software for our document scanning services, where we provide back file scanning services for companies. We can actually scan your documents and give you a file so you can actually retrieve your documents. So let's continue on with this. Smart document control you can store documents with access control options. I'll show you sharing documents in this demo with using stamps, how to do assignments, uh, we'll do action dates. I'll do a couple of things with proposals and contracts. And we'll talk a little bit about retention periods and a little bit about building access features. So stay tuned. We'll start. So to start with, we're going to start about storing documents with access control options, specifically sharing documents in this first section. I'll use three documents, three letters, and show you the three different ways to put them into DocuWare and how to share them. Now, to start this demonstration, I've logged into the cloud and I've logged in as Peggy Jenkins, which you can see here in the middle. Now, what she has is, to give you an idea of the interface you're looking at, on the far left here is what we call document trays. That's where you bring documents into the system before you store them. And then to find those documents, you have a search button. And then a list, and I'll show that as the demo goes on, you'll see how this works. And there are other items for task, folder view, and also in the center here, you can actually do some different things, annotations to your documents, a variety of items. And then to the right is where you can display documents. So let's begin. Let's start with that document tray. So that's how we bring documents in. So I'm gonna look at my inbox. I'm gonna import documents. And I got a variety of things here. So I'm just gonna pick uh, we're going to use this letters that I made up. Uh, we're going to bring in a proposal and we're going to bring in a contract. Let's just bring those in, show you how that works. Now, let's start with that letter first. So I'm going to double click it. You'll see it displays to my right here. Now, we're going to store this document in what we call for all. Because you've seen the document, it says letter stored for all. That's that's kind of give you an idea of what we're doing here. You can kind of follow along with these different dialogues. And also I gave it a doc number one, because you can see I'm gonna store five documents and you will see all five as they're numbered. So you can see how they all fall together. So let's use this for all. It'll make more sense to you as we go along. So we come up here for document type. Well, this is a letter and we'll do a subtype. We'll say this was received. Normally you don't have a document number, but we want to use it. It'll, it'll make a lot more sense as we go along to show you just to follow along with the demo. I'm going to tap down here to subject. I'm going to put in testing. And we can leave the rest blank for now. Let's start with this information. So she stored a document, Peggy did. So, and so I'm going to do a quick search. And you'll see what we got here. There's only one document in her file cabinet. So let's open it up. And that was for all. So anybody that has access to this cloud is, can actually access this document. Let's go back to that document tray once more time. Let's look at that letter number two. Let's open it up. This time we're gonna use the letter stored for me, which is Peggy on this demo. So let's store it. I'll show you the difference here. So let's just use this dialogue for me and as you see in the store, it says for me automatically. So document type, we're going to go back into letter. Subtype, we're going to use that drop down. We put in receive, document number. I'm going to put in a two. Uh, we'll drag this. It'll automatically throw it across for us. We're going to skip back down here to subject and just put in testing. And, and actually, let's just take that out right now. Back. I just put in the letter T, it's gonna go out and look for what's already been put into my index. I already put in testing one, so it populates, I can click it, and it'll pop back in there. So let's store that document. 
Remember, this is just for me. So now she has two documents, the first document and that second document. So, so far, so good. Let's do one more store. So let's come back in here and go back to our document tray. I have a third letter. This is for some. And what she wants to do is, she wants to share, share this with more than just herself, but not everybody that has access, just certain people. So she's going to say, I want to give this access to certain people. So again, this is a letter. So I click this. I can put in letter. Subtype, remember it was received. You actually just put in the letter R and it will bring up the word received for you. Uh, the document number, this is our third document that we have stored. I'm going to put in ABC company and we'll come back down to subject, put in testing. Uh, I'm not going to put anything else in this. You can fill this out if you'd like. We can invite by email anybody else we'd like to have join just by doing the drop down. Say yes, no. I'm just going to skip it. Uh, for now, we'll show that email at a later time, but not in this session. Uh, you can give somebody read access, edit access. Let's give read access to somebody. You can give it to as many people you want. We're just going to give it to Peter. Now, you can have multiple people read or edit access at this point. So let's just say store here. We're going to store it for herself, and she's going to let Peter have access to this document. So let's store it. So now we do a quick search. You see. Peggy here has three documents. That was that first document we stored. And we use our little thing right here. We got the top here, the third, let's start here. The third one, use this to go back down so you can go back through the documents. Very quick and simple for her. But what about Peter? Let's go take a look at Peter's files and I'll show you how she has shared the first document and that third document with him. So let's go look at that. Now, we have switched in to Peter King. He's logged in to his cloud, and he's going to do and look and say, okay, let's do a quick search. You'll notice that he has two documents, that first document stored by Peggy for everybody to see which he has access to, and this doc third document that I had stored for some, which she gave Peter access to. Let's take a look now and see what we got. Instead of doing a search that way, we can also say, oh, we can do documents stored with share me. So you can click that. And this is the document specifically shared with Peter. So another way that he can get documents shared with him from somebody else. So we're going to show you one more thing. Because what happened was Peter was talking with Peggy. And they realized, she realized, Peggy said, oh, you need something, I've got that document. Let me share that document with you that's already stored. I'll show you how that's done. So let's switch over to Peggy. We have signed back in with Peggy. She's located right here. And you'll see that what she wants to do is, remember that, um, let's just search her documents real quick. I wanna get that document back up. And this was this number two, which was, she shared it for herself. She used the For Me dialogue. So she has the only one that has access to this. But now she had been talked with Peter. She needs to share this document with just Peter after it has been stored. So I'm on, we actually got annotations you can put on here. So this is, uh, let's just type in article you, and we'll type it correctly. There, something like that, article you ask for. This is going to go to Peter. Now I'm going to save that annotation. And this annotation, as you look here, we can turn it on, turn it off. So now we want to share this with Peter. And the easy way to do that, first I'm going to, because I'm probably, let me look here, move this over a bit, because it's probably blocking with the photo in the side there. So I've got stamps up in the upper right hand corner. I can come down here and I've got a variety of stamps. We're going to go through each one of these. I'm going to use the share stamp. Now, what I want to do is I want to share this with Peter. He comes in my drop down. I can share with more people if I need to. This is all I need right now. And I can give him permission level. I said, I just want to give him read access to this document. 
And you can also add, you know, uh, article. You read eh, somewhere in there. Requested. Very good. We'll set that. So there's my stamp. We'll set that on the document. Now, let's use our tools here real quick. We'll just blow this up so you can see it a lot better. We'll probably blow it up maybe a little more than that even. Move that around. There we go. We'll click in there. We'll click there. There we go. So, shared with Peter. Gave him read permission level. So let's go back over and look at Peter's screen and see what he has. Well, we're back in Peter's screen again, as you can see. Now, he's going to go use this list this time because what he wants to do is look at all docs shared with me, which is Peter, opens this up and look at this document right here and there's that document that Peggy just shared with him that had that article that he was looking for. So very easy to communicate back and forth and to share documents. So we'll move on. This time we're going to look at a proposal. So we'll go back over to Peggy's screen and look at it. We switched over and now we're back into Peggy Jenkins, as you see here. So she's viewing her screen. She wants to work on a proposal. And she brings it in. Let's look at our inbox again. She's already brought that proposal in earlier. And we're gonna store this. And we have a dialog for storing proposals. So now it automatically populates the document type. And we come down here to customer. We're gonna use a document number of four to help keep track of items in our demos. You can follow right along as we put stuff in. And we'll come down to subject. Put in roller coaster again. Uh, we can type in something, say demo for a project. Uh, if you want to put a project date in, I'm going to X on my keyboard, or you can use the calendar. Uh, we're not going to put an action date this time. We'll use that later on when we do the contract. Uh, but I do want to put an expiration date. We need to have this is a proposal that needs to get done at a certain date. So we can put that in. You can invite by email to invite people. Uh, you can give them read access, edit access, or make them an owner of a document. And again, you can select who it is and send that out. We're not going to do it this way this time, but it's very easy to invite several people all at once as you store the document. We're going to show you another way to get that through how we invite people through an invitation, through a stamp. So we'll do that. But right now, let's store it this way and to show you that the document has been stored into Peggy Jenkins. So let's do a quick search on all her documents. There's all four documents and there's that proposal number four. Now, another way to do that is if you wanna do another search, there's a lot of ways to find stuff. She knows she has a, a document type as a proposal. Click proposal and up it comes up. If you have a lot of proposals, you can dig down further and add different items to the search menu to refine your search. But that's what we have right now. Now, we've got this proposal in here. We want to invite, because now that we've, we've done some more work on it, Peggy has done more work on it, let's say. She wants to invite Peter to add to her proposal, but she needs something. She needs a different item. So I'm going to come down here to my annotations and, and put a note in here, say, uh, add table three. Kind of a quick note. You know, and, you know, and you can say, put it somewhere specifically. She'll do that. Let's just leave that as an annotation. And by the way, these annotations can be turned on and off. And even this can be hidden. So you will have all this access to all these clutters up your desktop. So we have all this here. I'm going to invite Peter to have access to this Word doc. So what I'm going to need to do, though, probably is move this over because it's probably being hidden by my photo in the corner. I'm going to come down here, and i got a variety of stamps. 
bottom one says assignment. Top one says assignment. Grab assignment. And the comment is, you know, add table three, which I already put on document. But another, another thing here, we'll, we'll do a follow-up. Pick a date. Uh, read access. I want him to edit this proposal, so I'm going to give Peter edit rights. And to, to, done by, to be done by anyone or everyone, depending on how many people you have involved in here. So let's set, set that stamp. We'll set it right there. So I'm going to open up my tools again just for a second, just to kind of help you can see how that looks. We'll blow it up. So Peggy set us an invitation. She wants to add table three, and she gave Peter edit access rights to this document. So let's go over and, and see what uh, Peter has in his basket or his file cabinet. Let me open this back up. Let's make that start like that. So that has been done. So let's go over and sign over into Peter. And we're in Peter's screen again, as you can see. Now, remember we sent that from Peggy, assigned it to Peter. So let's use that list. Come down here, assign to me. To Peter in the next four, do next 14 days. So let's click on that. And there's our document that came up. So Peggy said, okay, I want you to add table three and put it somewhere. So he said, oh, I know just what to do. He's going to right click on this document. Since it's a Word document, he's going to edit it. Now, what's going to happen? It's going to actually go back and find the Word document. And I'm going to have to switch out of the screen just to show you that Word document. So Give me a second, we'll bring up the Word document. Here's that Word document we opened up, that Peter opened up actually, and it's that proposal. And remember, he had an assignment that Peggy wanted him to add table three and put it somewhere. Let's say he put it right there. Okay, so he's done with what he wants to do, all he needs to do. So he's gonna save this file, okay. And after he saves it, he can actually close. Hey, we're back with Peter's screen again. The Word document has been updated, as you can see. So Peter's done with what he needs to do. So he's going to come up here to a stamp. But before I click the stamp, I'm going to move this over so you can definitely see it. And maybe we'll move it out a little bit so it's not covered up. I'm going to use this stamp and says, hey, my assignment is complete. He clicks this and he says, I'm finished. Finished with table or something to that effect. We'll put this stamp right here. And as you notice, we put this stamp on here off to, it fell out of his list because he doesn't need any action anymore. So his action goes away. Let me open this up a little bit more. We can get back here to our screen better. We don't need that to show the stamp. But as you can see, there we are. It's got the original stamp. And so you have a map of what took place in this. And it has gone away from his action list of items to do. So we're going to go back over to Peggy because we got one more document to work with. And that's the contract. So stay tuned. So we're logged back in with Peggy Jenkins. And we're going to deal with that contract this time. So let's go back to our inbox. Here's the contract that we're talking about. We're going to import that in a dialog that says for contract. And again, the contract is seven years based on the document type. You have you can change the document type again to whatever years you want, or you can change the different document types that come pre put in by the cloud for you. All right, let's come down to say this is a financial contract. We're going to throw this number in so it helps you follow along. ABC company, let's come down to project to start typing. And you say, oh, there's demo one or demo. Let's say maybe this was demo two. We'll add a two to it. Uh, you can say, is this auto renewed? Uh, yes. An action date, you can use the calendar. Hey, I need action by this time. Document date, I'm just going to press X. I can use the calendar, go back and forth with the dates. Uh, Contract start date started prior to this. 
Uh, we're going to give a, an expiration date. I'll go into this other details later with you, but for now, we're just going to do a quick one here, execution date. Uh, we're going to put in there. Uh, you can put in an amount. You can invite people by email. Yes or no, we're not going to do that but this time. You can give them access rights again, which I showed you earlier. Just pick out who you want to send this to. They can be included. You've already seen that, so we're just going to store this for now, this document. So what happens now is Peggy's back in here. She said, okay, whoever has access to this document, we're going to use the list. Require action within 30 days. She's going to look at this, open this up, and there it comes, doc number five was our contract. So she needs to take action on this. No, she still has that proposal she got to finish up. Let's look at this contract. So what she's going to do now is I'm going to take this and she does whatever she needs to. And I'm going to move this over so we can see it again because it's probably hidden again. I'm going to come down here and say manage required action. Okay, click that on here. And she says, hey, she is done, it's done. If not, she had something else to do, she could put in what needs to be done and reset a new action date so it, it extends it. So we're gonna just set it, say, hey, we're done with all of our activity. And as you'll notice, once we do this, it falls out of the list because it's no longer needed. So this activity is done. So next time the contract comes up, it'll pop up in this list, say, oh, I need to work on this again. And now she can rest and move on to other activities. So let's think through this document number four. Remember this? You can do, say, okay, while we got this up, you can see the other stamps. We went through assignment, assignment's complete. The cancel, deletion, and delete in 30 days, that has to do with retention periods. So if you delete a document with a stamp, it's going to say, okay, it goes for deletion in 30 days, it goes out, it says, okay, it's going to be deleted within 30 days. We can use another stamp to cancel it. So someone says, oh, I don't, I really need to keep that document past this 30 days. So you can actually delete it with a stamp also. And we did the manage required action. I showed you the shared document at the very beginning with those first three letters, how we shared documents. So if we do manage required action again, put down, hey, we're done. I've done my proposal. I'm all done. Get set. Place that. It goes out of her list. She's all done. So let's bring this back across. And we'll get rid of that. That was the demo pretty much went through everything. We didn't really go over building access, uh, which is a more in depth. I need to spend more time with you, but that's enough for today. I'd be glad to go over retention periods in more detail with you. Uh, so let's finish up with the last couple slides and we'll finish up with this. Well, I just demoed Docker Smart Control for you. Storing documents with access control options. I use the sharing documents with the stamps. Remember we had those first three letters? I used the assignment stamp with Peter to say, hey, you've got this assignment, and then he completed it. We used an action date. You can actually say, okay, I need something done within 30 days. You could also have 90 days, 60. There are a variety of things you can do with this. Uh, we talked a little bit about retention periods and building access features is also done with smart control. So further on, let me know that uh, we're finishing this up and saying that you're always welcome to contact me. My contact information is on the screen. Again, I'm a DocuWare partner, authorized DocuWare partner, been in business for almost 30 years at Stover Imaging. And we do not only resell pre-configured systems like this, but also we provide document scanning services, especially large volume for back file scanning. So if you're interested in this or other, because I'll be putting out other recordings on a variety of other topics, pre-configured systems. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.